Hey guys, it's Freddy with H Town Model Shop, and today we're gonna be reviewing the uh, new kit by Galaxy Limited, the 47 Chevy Fleetmaster Coupe, which is the one that I did for the uh, magazine, if you remember correctly. Um, so this is the uh, new kit. It's this one, and then it's another one that's that's like the Aero Sedan, but it's called the Country club uh i believe um where it has like the country club uh door panels the only thing that's different is the uh it has the wood the wooden inserts for like like a woody type uh, uh exterior on the doors so uh, anyways um this is uh the 47 chevy and uh, I know I didn't get to show y'all much last time because it was it was still a still a test shot kit and whatnot, but the kit's out now, so I'm able to um, actually show it. So the first thing I always do is look at the kit chrome to see if it's yellowed or not. And this is uh, definitely not yellowed anywhere. So, uh, you know, pretty much if if you go back and you look at you go back and you look at the uh, the Aero Sedan um, version of it, it's it's the same it's the same uh, it's the same kit, but the body changed on it. So. For example, here's uh, here's the other one for the Aero Sedan, and you can see the yellowing right away. It is an older kit, so. Um, but anyways, pretty much. I mean, you can see the the difference in the chrome, but you can see it's pretty much just the same tree. So. So that's that. Um, and of course, you know, y'all know the difference between the coupe and the sedan. So, I think I showed this last time. Top one is the coupe, bottom one is the sedan. So, you can see the back stretches all the way back to the back over here. And then this one is cut off with the trunk being uh here so um all right so pretty much get that out of the way the the front front clip front fender is uh pretty much the same everything is the same i think on that aspect um oh yes and also i believe the tub the interior tub has changed as well. I don't have that one open for the sedan, but I'll show you this. And of course, it's gonna be obvious that it will be, it will be change. It will have some changes on it because of the the coupe is uh, shorter. So, but that's it right there. And I believe it's the same hood and the same uh, firewall and hood brackets. And so here is the front clip, which is uh, the same as the Aero Sedan. So again, the only difference being the Aero Sedan and the coupe body. So but that's what it looks like, guys, put together with the hood on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. So. Right off the bat, <clears throat> the first thing I look for, of course, the, the chrome, like I already showed y'all, and the wheels. Did notice these wheels, The I didn't have this set, I didn't have the complete set when I was doing the test shot kit, but these wheels do come with the wide white walls. So, they had wide, uh, wide white wall inserts and then the wheels, of course. So, 
Um, so you get the uh, slick options. I don't know if you can see that. These are a little bit wider and they're slick. And then these are are uh, thinner with uh, tread on them. So um, that's that, guys. That's the main two things I look for: wheels and the chrome. So. Um, the other thing is, as you can see, it's zero flash, nice and clean trees. <clears throat> the uh, other thing that I did like about this car was the fact that, if you can see right there, the I believe they're the drum, brake drums. They have the studs on them, as you can see. If you want to leave leave it like a junkyard car or something with the, without the rim missing or with the rim missing or whatever this you know you could just weather it up real nice and just leave it as is you know so that's pretty cool uh, that's one of the details that I did like about it uh, I think the other difference of course is going to be the the glass I believe yeah the glass here so you can see the top one is the aero sedan which has the extended rear glass and this one here sorry guys um has a shorter rear glass so um anyways uh the detail of this kit here, you know, like I said, the detail uh, pieces here are very, very nicely detailed. No flash. Uh, of course, you're going to have mold lines. Everything has mold lines in it. This is the interior. With uh, the door panels here having uh, some definition there, if you wanted to two-tone it, it's real easy to tape off and two-tone real easy straight lines everywhere so I like that about this kit as well and then uh, of course the motor guys the motor is a straight six uh, with uh, valve cover options of, uh, of uh, painted valve cover or of course um, geez where is it the chrome you get the chrome options here so you get this chrome piece or and then this one here so um, and then also you do have uh, the skirts for the rear but uh, overall guys I mean it the fit issues were zero I had zero fit issues with this kit uh, with, with that I got so um, yeah, and you got the battery there with some nice detail on it you have all these little motor pieces and uh, I'm not a mechanic so I don't know what everything is but very very nice detail very nice detail so uh, one thing that I I will have to say about this is you're gonna have to be very very careful with the uh, with the uh, bumper brackets or supports here because they are very very thin and very very fragile. So matter of fact, this one looks like it's already yeah. So um, here's the front ones as well. These are a little bit more sturdier, but the rear be very very careful with um overall guys it's a nice very nice kit here's the decal sheet very nice set of decals there and the instructions are so accurate and so detailed detailed you know like very very detailed you know i, I would prefer a, a um uh, an instructional sheet like this way over over the other kits so but uh, anyways guys I think that's it here I mean 
like I said, the two the major factors, the different factors between the aero sedan and the coupe. Of course, the body, um, and the glass, and the interior tub is a little bit shorter as well. Everything else is the same, guys. So, if you have not uh, picked up this kit, um, just a, a few little, a few little uh, things about this kit here. I was talking to the owner and he did say that this was going to be a limited limited production run so 2500 kits that's all that was being made um uh, minus my three so so your guys make sure that uh, you pick up a copy um price range is anywhere from you know 35 to 42 dollars i believe it just depends on where you where you uh, pick them up at. So, uh, my recommendations on this kit is is definitely worth the price, and it's just one of those kits that you know you can make into a lowrider, you can make into a hot rod, you can make you know you can make all kinds of uh, rat rotted, you could make a junker. There's all kinds of options with this kit here, so definitely pick it up, guys, if you have the chance to um